In this video, I'm doing a complete overview and tutorial on how to use the Mint Mobile application to sign up for service and to manage your Mint Mobile account. If you open the app for the first time, you will see there are three options here. You can activate your SIM card, order a starter kit, or log in to your existing Mint Mobile account. I'm going to divide up this video based on these three sections. You can find timestamps linked in the video description. And with the new YouTube player, you should have the option to jump between the section you're looking for. The first one is to activate your SIM card. To do this, it's very simple. You just grab your Mint Mobile SIM card, and in the top right, you can see there is an activation code. You're gonna enter the activation code, and the Mint Mobile application will walk you through your activation process. If you'd like, you'll even have the option to keep your existing phone number and transfer it over to Mint Mobile. The second option within the application is to order a starter kit. Now, a starter kit is a great way to try out the Mint Mobile network before committing to service. It includes 250 minutes, 250 texts, and 250 megabytes of 4G LTE data. Mint Mobile uses the T-Mobile network for coverage, so this is a great way just to try out the T-Mobile network and see if Mint Mobile will work for you. What's cool is Mint Mobile will actually credit you back the $5 for the starter kit if you decide to sign up for one of their plans. So it's kind of nice, the $5 does go towards your credit. The first thing you'll need to do is check your phone, make sure it is compatible with the T-Mobile network. You can see this iPhone 11 is, and then you'll do that coverage check. You can use automatic location check, and Mint will grab your zip code, and it will just make sure you have T-Mobile coverage in your area. And here you'll have the option to order your starter kit. Now, if you do decide to order your starter kit, that typically looks like this. It includes two SIM cards. One is to try out the Mint Mobile network. That would be this one. It is preloaded with the 250 minutes, 250 texts, and 250 megabytes of LTE data. If you decide you like the Mint Mobile network and they will work for you, there is a second SIM card included where you can then transfer your number over to Mint Mobile. I really like this. Another form of this kit is what Mint Mobile calls the Share the Love Kit. So what happens is if you order your activation kit, this kit comes preloaded with uh, service. In this case, it is a 12 gig, three month kit. However, Mint often includes what they call the share the love kit. This is basically a different uh, phrase for the trial kit, where again, you do get the two SIM cards. One is to try the network. It's preloaded with the 250 minutes, 250 texts, and 250 megabytes of LTE data. And then there's a second SIM card if you'd like to transfer your number over to Mint Mobile. So you can activate these within the Mint Mobile application and you can also order them uh, within the application as well. The final section of the application is to log in and manage your Mint Mobile account. So you're just gonna enter your phone number and your password and then log in. And here you'll have your account dashboard. The first thing you'll see is how much cellular data you have remaining. You can see on this account, I have zero out of three gigs remaining and my data renews in six days. Because I'm out of data, Mint Mobile is offering or suggesting data add-ons. You can get one gig for $10 or three gigs for $20. Now up top, you also have the name on the account and the phone number, as well as more information on the plan. I am on month one of three, of the three gig per month plan. On the home screen, you also can swipe down to see more information. Here you have a splash screen on Mint's referral program. When you refer five friends, you'll actually get a free year of service, which is really cool. And you can also customize the plan to meet your needs. So that's kind of the Mint dashboard. It's a great quick overview of your plan and your account. And if you're like me and out of data, you have the option to quickly add more data to your plan. The second tab in the application is the My Plan tab. Here you can see your current plan, the price, you can enable or disable auto renewal, and in the top right, you have the option to change your plan. Here's where you can select uh, a new plan of your choosing. You have the three month, six month, or 12 month options. The 12 month options will have the best prices available. And if Mint works for you, I highly suggest you consider the 12 month options because you will save the most money. All you would do is select the plan you want. Let's say you want the three gig plan for $15. You tap set as next plan. And then when your plan is up for renewal, Mint will automatically renew your service for that specific plan. So you don't pay anything until your renewal date and you will automatically be charged if you do have auto renewal turned on. 
This is nice because it does help ensure there is no break in your service. Of course, you do have that option to turn auto renewal off and then you can manually make a payment on your account. The third tab in the Mint Mobile application is the support tab. You have two options here. You can start a conversation or you can visit the FAQ page. Starting a conversation will bring up a chat robot that Mint has developed to uh, hopefully help answer some quick questions. They call it the Fox Bot support bot. Uh, Mint definitely having way too much fun with the Fox brand. And uh, here you can basically tap to answer common questions. So maybe you have a question on referring a friend or technical support or Mint's new family. You can tap on what you're looking for and the chat bot will bring up additional options and more information relating to that. Uh, so let's say you want to uh, create a family if you're interested in managing multiple lines on Mint Mobile. The Mint chatbot will provide additional steps to help you through your specific situation. However, if you do have an actual question and you need support, let's say uh, you have a porting issue. This is where uh, maybe something happens when you're trying to transfer your number over or you just want help with that or something. You can type a message directly in the chat and the chatbot will recognize that you need customer care and immediately put you in a queue uh, to chat with someone. You can see in this instance, there was no queue and no wait. And now you can instantly see I am chatting with a Mint chat agent. <laughs> Hopefully uh, it's something comedic because this account has the name Ryan Reynolds. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for letting me borrow your name for this uh, demo video. But yeah, it is a great way to directly interact and get support from within the Mint mobile application. I really like that they've added this. I don't actually need support right now, so I will end this chat, provide a thumbs up. I'm not gonna leave a comment and uh, let's just get out of here and continue on with the application. You can provide a rating. Yes, everything was solved for me. Let's just close out of here. You can also visit the FAQ page. This brings you directly to Mint's Frequently Asked Questions page. This is oddly helpful for getting MMS set up for Android or for iPhone if you have an older iPhone and for just answering some frequently asked questions about the Mint mobile service. Like, if they have physical store locations and they don't because they're online only and that helps reduce the cost of their service. You can also enter to win an iPhone 10R. I don't, I don't know how frequently those are given out, but um, <laughs> that's an option if you wanna be on Mint's email list. The last tab in the application is the account tab. Here you can see your name and number up top. You can see how much 4G LTE data you have remaining, how much money is in your wallet and your international roaming credit. And here you just get a bunch of options and details relating to your account. You can tap my details to see your first name, last name, and email. You can tap my Mint family. This is how you create a Mint Mobile family to manage up to five lines on one Mint account. I have a video dedicated to this covering how to set up your family and providing additional information on it. So click the little card icon right there to watch that video. The next tab is the refer a friend tab. This is where you can get your referral code to refer your friends. They'll get $15 off their first plan and if you refer five friends, you will get a free year of Mint Mobile. So that's pretty awesome. I'll leave my personal link down in the video description, but of course, feel free to comment your link in the comment section as well. Help each other out uh, and get some cool perks. The next options here are getting additional data or adding funds to your wallet. Again, you have the one gig and three gig data add-ons, $10 for one gig, $20 for three gigs, and you have the option to buy international roaming credit for talk, text, and data in international locations. The way it works is you add credit to your account and then Mint will deduct from that credit on pay per use rates for minutes, text, and data. And finally, you really just have some administrative stuff where you can view your transaction history, manage your payment method, view your international call history, turn on Wi-Fi calling and texting, change your Mint mobile password, view the privacy policy, end user license agreement, plan terms and conditions, and lastly, log out. And that is the Mint Mobile application, how to use it and how to manage your plan and account. Again, I have a separate video covering everything you need to know about Mint Family if you'd like to manage multiple lines from a single Mint Mobile account. That's gonna be it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up down below if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm Stetson and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.